Hello everyone and thank you for joining me in yet another episode of this series Beginner in Web Design. I assume you've already watched the previous videos and if you've not taken time to do so, I really urge you to go back and watch from the beginner, from the very, very, very first video that we uploaded until we are here because this particular presentation that I'm, I'm about to share with you is building upon previous knowledge and it will be a disservice on your side for you to watch this video in exclusion of the others that you've already missed out so and if you've been following us from the start until now thank you so much so now let's jump to our site and see where we left at we had already done almost 90 uh, percent of the work what is remaining us is only 10 percent 10 percent means the content that you have and you have to customize it you have to ensure that it fits the brand that you are actually looking for so we left at um, working on uh, on on editing. Uh, we left at how to uh, customize it. We left at how to customize it to our brand brand uh, requirements. Okay. So I'll go back to to my design here. And uh, a good thing is that when you are in any of these pages, the sh the, the shortcuts that you can use. When you want to edit home page, just select that home page and above here we have edit with Elementor. When you go to edit with Elementor, it's going to open up that page in Elementor editor. So, so when you open that particular page and you go to edit with Elementor, it will bring you to that Elementor editor and then you can be able to work on it. So what I wanted to do is go into this hamburger menu here on the very last of the top corner on the left and then go to uh, site settings and then previously if you can remember from the previous video we came here where we talked about styling so we know that our site is having purple as the primary color so I came to this other site called HTML color codes and here you can get different color codes for your site so you see as I said this is maroon, which has all the burgundy, all those other colors. Red is here, pink, and then you have purple, we have blue, we have, we have greens, we have turquoise there, yellows, all those shades are here. You can look at them in this kind of way, you can look at them here. So for me, what I usually do is I come here and then I pick on the color that I want to be the primary color. So if for example, this primary color is the is this one, you know. It's F F something, this seven. So I'll just come and then I'll pick a color that is similar to that but different shade totally. So I'll get, for example, I'll get blue. Then I'll copy this code up here, and then I'll come here, and then I replace it. Automatically it has changed. When I update this site. Let me first close this one uh, and then see what happens. You see that purple that we had on this end has already shifted to blue. Now our, our, our primary color is no longer purple. It is actually blue, you can see. So that is one way of changing the colors. You see this blue is here. You can see that it's already taken effect on areas that we wanted. You see blue here. When you compare here on this payment section, the pricing section, I mean, it is purple, but here is blue. So that's what we call customization. So here is blue. Now you know where that area, that, that color was affecting. Now here we have another purple. We have to change this purple by going to this code and then getting this dark blue. Actually, this code is, is going to be on this other purple here. So I'm changing it to, from that navy blue to whatever to another, another one. So all the purple colors that are here, I'm going to be changing them to something that looks a little bit like blue. So this sky blue sort of, I'm going to copy it and then come change here. This uh, which pro deep something, <laughs> I'm going to change it to that color. Then there's another one here that looks similar to that, but slightly has more density in terms of blue. 
I'm going to change it to something like this, okay? So we have that one, and then you have this main purple. This purple is here. So I'm going to change it to uh, something like this. And then you'll see that it will already take effect. Already it will take effect. Now you see our, our purple is gone, now we have blue. And when you see the site, you try to reload it, you see automatically it has changed. We no longer have those purple, now we have blues. This is the easiest way of customizing your site from the color that it came with to a different color that you are looking out to get. Now you can see that this one is a bit more, more, more deep. So I think it's this one here. We just need to go back to that hex and then change it to something that's a little bit lighter. Just change it to something that's a little bit lighter. Okay. And then update. So once you've updated it, just come and reload and then see what happens here. See what happens, see the magic. You see it's a bit lighter now, not that dark the way it was. And then we have yellow. I would like to get a different color. Let's put something like, uh, you know, this yellow or orange? It's yellowish. Let's put something like green. Uh, I don't know whether green will, will be good, but let's try it. <laughs> you know, we have challenges with colors, but as a designer, you always need to look out this is the accent color. So you have to delete the one that is here already, the code, and then put a different code so that you can be able to have a different style. When you reload, the orange yellow should go and you should have green, you see? Automatically it changes. So all your action bars is going to be, when, you, when you're hovering on top of it, it will be green, not longer orange. See, it's, it looks very nice, blue and this kind of green. Now you have already done the styling part of it in terms of colors. The fonts, I suggest you leave them the way they are because they look amazing the way they are. You see the green, the way it is complementing the blue behind it. Um, it's amazing. So that is how you change the colors. This is how you, you style your site. And uh, in the next uh, video, I'm going to show you even more professional tools on how you can customize your website to look even much, much better to meet your brand or your client's brand that expectation.